Hi everyone, I'm Casey Williams. The Honda Accord just turned 40 years old, but that doesn't mean it's an old people's car, and doesn't even mean that it acts old. The new Honda Accord Hybrid, updated for 2017, has enough technology in it to impress people who like Teslas, but still has the attributes that people liked in Accords. Let's go take a look at it and see why it's the best of both worlds, both a very solid car and a car that will really excite new age buyers. Well, this generation Accord has never been an ugly car. In fact, it's a pretty handsome car. But designers heard that customers thought it could be a little bit more exciting and a little more futuristic looking. So they upgraded the car just a little bit. You have the chrome detailing and the grille work here. Again, just gives it a little more pronounced front end. LED headlamps, absolutely state of the art. I think they're beautiful, especially they just glisten at night. LED running lamps down below. Come around the side. Again, we've had a little weather here today, so the car is just a little bit dirty. But you can still see the lines and see how the car looks. We have 17-inch alloy wheels. And again, it's, it's not an especially exciting looking car, but it's a very solid, well-made looking car. And it's certainly not ugly. I like, the, I like the roof line. It's got a bit of a fastback look to it. And around the back, again, the designers kind of worked on the back, just kind of finessing things. Um, we have the Touring Edition, so that adds a little bit of a chrome strip down below on the fascia. A little chrome here. Tail lamp's been redesigned just a little bit. Spoiler. And the one thing about the hybrid is because you have a battery pack, the batteries are actually running across the back of the trunk. So the back seats do not fold down. So if it's important to you, you should look at one of the other cords. But there's still enough space in here to get a week's worth of luggage in. You just have to pack just a little bit lighter than you might otherwise. Well, being a hybrid system, there are three parts to it. You have a two liter four cylinder engine, gasoline engine. You have electric motors and you have lithium ion batteries. So the whole system together generates 212 horsepower. Routed to the front wheels, that's more than enough power to get the car moving. And you get a little bit of that electric torque off the line, so it's very smooth power, and you're sitting in traffic and it just kind of creeps by in, in electric power, and it just feels very, very quiet, very smooth. Um, there's three different driving modes for the car. Um, there's an EV mode, and you can actually depress a button in the console that puts you in that mode. And the, it allows the car to run very short distances at relatively low speeds on electric power. This is not an electric car, but it will let you kind of creep around the neighborhood just a little bit. There's a hybrid mode, and in that mode, the gasoline engine is replenishing the batteries, and its electric system is driving the wheels. So again, electric. And then there's the full, full engine mode. And in that mode, you've got both the batteries and the gas engine driving the wheels. So that's your full power mode. So if you stay out of the throttle, drive the car lightly, you stay in hybrid mode more often. So talking about fuel economy, you have 49 miles per gallon in the city, 47 miles per gallon on the highway. Being a hybrid, you're in the electric mode more often at lower speeds, so that's why the fuel economy in the city is better. But 49 miles per gallon in the city, 47 on the highway, in a larger mid-sized car with the comforts this car has and the power that it has, I think it's phenomenal. So I think, I think overall Honda's done some very good work with the powertrain. Well, Honda's challenge with the Accord Hybrid was to integrate an awful lot of technology into the interior without it feeling like a science project. So, you know, like other Accords, our Touring Edition has heated leather seats, you got dual zone automatic climate control. The touch screen I think is kind of abysmal trying to use it. You'll notice there's no, there's no knobs here, so everything's all touch screen. Um, you can scroll through like an iPad um, for, your, for your music library and for satellite radio if you wish. But again, the volume here, so, so the, the Honda's upgrading their audio systems where they've got actual knobs and that would be much better. Um, the car has quite a bit of technology for, on the safety front. Um, has adaptive cruise control, it's got four collision warning systems with crash mitigation. It automatically applies the brakes if you don't respond. Um, lane keep assist. It's got a road departure system on it that will actually steer the car back in. It actually shakes the steering wheel too to let you know you're leaving the road. Um, it's got a system that works almost like the Mercedes S-Class system where it'll keep the car centered in the lane. Um, if you take your hands off the wheel, it'll beep at you, make all kinds of noises, and that's, it won't let you do that. But you can kind of just lightly put your hands on it. It'll sort of have steer in the middle, but you have to keep your, keep your hands on it. Also has the uh, rear cross path detection, rear view camera, and it's got Honda's lane watch system. Uh, it's got a camera on the passenger side that, that lets you see your blind spots a lot better with that camera. So a lot of safety equipment on the car, keeps you safe on the road, but also the comforts that you expect in a Honda Accord. Well, the Honda Accord may be 40 years old, but it does neck a day over 29. It's got youthful sophistication of the hybrid system, excellent fuel economy, you get almost 50 miles per gallon in a mid-sized car, and you still have all the things that people like about being a Honda Accord. It's expected to be durable, it's definitely comfortable, four passengers fit it very well. So 
So the one thing that's definitely changed in the last 40 years is the price. This car starts at $29,605. All in the Touring Edition, all the safety equipment, book at $36,790. So next week we'll have another fun car. Hopefully the weather will be a little bit better. Until then, storm forward.